Hi, I'm Mr. Omigyo. Okay, I'm going to go through the connection of life, neutral, and earth wire in a home appliance. Okay, what we see here, right, is a socket that uh, we have at home. They are all together three holes. And the bottom right hole, right, is connected to the life wire, which is 240 volts. And the left hole is connected to neutral, which is 0 volts. And the top hole is connected to earth, uh, which is at 0 volts. Okay? So out of these three wires, right, we see that uh, the light wire is the most dangerous because it's connected to 240 volts. And the light wire is connected through the fuse and the switch to the home appliance. And then it's connected back to the main supply through a neutral wire. Okay? Uh, let me emphasize on the location of this fuse and switch. The fuse and switch is connected to the light wire. Because as I mentioned, the light wire is very dangerous. So once the switch is open or the fuse has flown, we will be able to isolate the high voltage of the light wire from the appliance. So this will save the user from electric shock if they were to touch the, the appliance. Okay. Okay, next up, uh, we see that the earth wire is connected to the metal casing of, of an appliance. So, Usually when we have an appliance that comes with a metal casing, we will have a 3 pin plug which is inclusive of the earth wire. So, uh, to summarize, right, those appliances with metal casing, we need the earth wire to provide a safety feature. Okay, so what is the function of this earth wire, right? Let us take a look. Imagine that now, this metal, metal casing appliance does not have an earth wire. So let me remove this connection. Okay, uh, what happens here inside the appliance, right? Over time, the light wire might fill and then it might touch the metal casing. So since the metal casing is a good conductor of electricity, light wire is 240 volt. The metal casing will also become 240 volt. So if I have a user here who accidentally Touches the metal casing, the hand will be at 240 volts, and then the person is standing on earth, which is 0 volt. So there's a potential difference of 240 volt across his body. So this will cause the current to flow through the body, and the user will suffer an electric shock. Okay? So uh, that is when the earth wire comes in. If we have an earth wire to connect to the metal casing, right? can you see that now? There is two paths for the current to flow down to earth. One is through the person and the other one is through the earth wire. Earth wire is just made up of normal conducting wire. So it has very low resistance, like uh, it can be close to zero. And for our body, right, our dry skin has a resistance of 100 kilo ohm. So although there is two paths for the current to flow down through the person or through the earth wire, because the earth wire is almost close to zero ohm, all the current will choose to flow down the earth wire instead of through the person. So if a person was to accidentally touches or to accidentally touch the metal casing, uh, when the light wire has spread and touched the metal casing, right, uh, the person will be safe from electric shock.